Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you guys doing? Yeah. Are you great? Yes. So, have you guys enjoyed your school day so far? No. What you got happened, Michelle? Oh, just... Don't fall asleep in my class. <laughs> Okay. I'll wake her up. <laughs> right, right. Okay. So, so, so you guys know that we're working on our unit, um, which is Financial Literacy 101. And today we're going to go ahead and get on the um, lesson that's called Investing in Yourself. That's our lesson for today. And so I have our standards. I'm going to try something new today. I have our standards on a poster board. And I'm going to hold the poster board that way I can make sure everyone sees the standards. And would, would someone like to read those for me? Russell, don't try. I, you don't have your glasses on. Um, um, <laughs> <laughs> Volunteer? Develop effective money management strategies and understand the role and function of financial Institution. Institution. Great job, Michelle. And then the next standard. Ricky. Oh, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> right here. Apply the plan of operations and processes as well as financial planning strategies to analyze and apply the theoretical concepts of income, expenses, savings, and debt. Good job. Um, Laura? I took my class. Okay, where, where, did you, where have you been? I had to see the counselor. Oh, okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, who else wants to read? Laura, you read the next one since you're late. Number two. Right here. Develop a budget including all essential elements for personal and business. Okay, and then the last one, someone is very short. Examine the principles of banking transactions. Great, 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 great. So, what did you guys? What What do you guys think the gist of the lesson was today from our standards? Yeah, money. Money, 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 money. Money. And what does what does money consist of? Greenbacks. <laughs> Other than greenbacks. Dinero. I'm sorry. Say that again, please. Dinero. The narrow, okay, not everyone knows what that yes. means. So we're going to keep it simple. <laughs> okay, no. Today what we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about investing in, our, in yourselves. Um, you're going to learn personal financial management strategies based on budgeting. You're also going to learn the theoretical concepts with budgeting and financial management, including income, expenses, savings, and debt. Okay? So, how many of you guys have ever saved money before? Okay. Try. 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 Russell, you saved some cash? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. And then, how many of you know how to maintain a budget? You, uh, okay, Laura. Well, I'm working on that management skills, that money management skills. That's good. Okay, okay. Well, she went to the financial <laughs> Ricky, we're not going to do that today in the class, okay? We're not going to do it today, not today. Okay, so I'm going to go over some brief terms. I would write the terms on the board, but um, since we got a short class today, I think we're going to have a prep rally again. Didn't we just have one last week? Yeah, so we're having another prep rally. Um, <laughs> Okay. So, um, the first term that we're going to go over, and you guys might want to write this down, get, your, get some paper out and a pencil. So, the first term is budget. So, a budget is going to be a list of all planned expenses and income. The next term is going to be income. That's the amount of money that an individual or business earns in a given period. So how many, how many of you guys generate income? Anybody? I'm generating income because I come to work every day. I'm a teacher. I really gotta go to the bathroom. Not today. <laughs> Not today. Um, I really gotta go. I'm sorry. You're gonna have to hold it. Um, I and, I'm sorry. I apologize. I apologize. I, I'm 
quite sure she did. Yeah, we, we've had a discussion about that. She's a no, no. Okay, the next one is it spent. Something spent or required to be spent. And I think everybody has an expense. It, even if you don't have income, you guys have expense because your parents are paying for you. Can you propose the definition again? Something spent or required to be spent. Then there's savings, which is something you all you guys should do. Income not used is money that you set aside. It can also accumulate when income is higher than expenses for an individual. So sometimes I have a, you know, I can save a little bit more than other times because I might not have a lot of expenses one month versus me having that in another month. So sometimes I can save more. You guys will learn that as you get older and you have to start paying for your own expenses rather than your parents paying for it. So hard to save. I'm sorry, Susan, was there something you wanted to say to the class? It's so hard to save. And very loud. <laughs> it's so hard. Oh, hello. I'm sorry. Well, we're going to talk about how you can save. Um, the next one is debt. Michelle, put your hand down. Like <laughs> the next term is debt. Money that is owed. And this can accumulate when expenses are higher than income for a business or an individual. So you don't want to be in debt. Debt is a bad thing. You, you never want to be in debt. I'm sorry. Savings. You're talking too fast. Okay, income not used, money set aside. Why is this important? It's boring. I'm sorry. Oh, y'all bored Why today? Why do you have to learn this? That's okay. It's going to be fun. I have a game that we're going to play today. An online interactivity game. It's going to be great. Okay. Yeah, and yeah, it's right. important because as you get older, Michelle, and you start making your own money, you're going to need to know how you can Set aside money for the important things like rent, your car, your cell phone bill. If you have kids, you got to set money aside so you can feed those babies every day. Yeah. So it's going to get important. <laughs> Very important. Okay. So. Okay. We're not going to talk about anybody's parents. <laughs> now, who has, who in here has a dream that they have for the future? Anybody got a dream? I want to go to the moon. <laughs> okay, that's possible. Every, anything is possible. Anything is possible. Anybody else has a dream? I want to go to the moon with Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I love the baby. <laughs> the, man, the Tesla car, I just saw this, my mom made me watch it. He makes rockets mm -hmm. to fly to people. <coughs> well, maybe you can say to go and get on his rocket machine. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna get on his rocket Okay, so listen. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. You gonna ride Are you done? Oh. Are you all done? Okay. okay. Now, back to the lesson. Okay, so let's see. Are they? No, these aren't underwear. Do you think they're cute? No. I'm sorry. They're short. Like shorts. I have something under my dress. She doesn't have any manners. Right. Is that, oh, we're in the moon. That's okay. I so listen, I'm going to pack out this worksheet, <laughs> and I want you guys to think about something that you want to do in the future, a dream that you have. Maybe like you want to purchase a car later on when you turn 16. Um, maybe you want to go to college. Maybe you want to buy a house. Those are, dream, those are the dreams that I'm talking about when I ask, do you have a dream for the future? And as you're thinking about your dream, I want you to fill in the worksheet. And then we're going to discuss it after. You, I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes to fill it in, and then we're going to talk about 
No. You're a girl model from that. You do work in groups? No, you do not. This is an individual activity, <laughs> Russell. And this is uh, worth 10 points as a participation grade, and I will take them back up. So do so, we need four dreams? You can fill in as, as many dreams as you can think of. Dream as long as you complete, complete it for at least one dream, you know, that's participation, okay? Some people have more dreams than others. Okay, so Laura, do you have a dream that you have? No, I just, I had one, um, I said a condo downtown in Atlanta. Okay, mm -hmm. and um, so how, how are you going to get there? What are you doing now in order to achieve your dream or your goal? Well, I'm in school now, so um, I'm hoping that once I graduate and everything, my income will increase and then I can Okay, and then how many how many months is it gonna take you? At least twelve, I would think. That's so you got twelve months to finish school? Oh no 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 no, um, like nine months I believe. Okay, mm -hmm. and then how much is that gonna cost you monthly? Now? Exactly. Oh now? <laughs> yeah, you oh. you're supposed to be thinking about the future. Oh, okay. I thought the monthly cost of how much it would cost. Well, I guess I would probably, if I could save maybe um, like $1,000 a month, that might be a good thing. Okay, so how much is it going to cost you monthly for the condo? I figure the mortgage may be between like fifteen and 1800 a month. That, that's about right for downtown. Mm -hmm. That's that's about right. Mm -hmm. What's the mortgage? Will you? Um, I won't be next. Okay, go ahead, Will you? <laughs> I wasn't. I'm sorry, Laura. <laughs> That's okay. He can go. Okay. My dream for the future. I want to be a teacher just like you. <laughs> That's great, William. That's great. That's great. Okay, so how? what are you doing now? How, how are you going to get there? I'm going to follow your example. And what is that? Be a good teacher. Oh, wonderful. Okay. And then how many months is it going to take you to get that? 120. <laughs> okay. And what's the, month, what's the monthly cost? I don't know. Well, you got to think about it. So in order to be a teacher, you're going to have to go. You got to graduate high school. You have to go to college. Who's going to, so that monthly cost is going to be how much you have to pay for college. So you have to break that down over a four-year time span. And then you do that for a monthly cost, and then that'll let you know how much it's going to cost for you to be a teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else would like to share there before we move on to our online interactivity game? She said he can't do it. He'll probably be a parapro. <laughs> We're not <laughs> We're ignoring. We're ignoring uh, Lauren right now because uh, she's a little bit upset because William he cut into her. <laughs> okay. 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 So. Let's go ahead and we're going to play our online interactivity game. It's called Bank It or Bust It. I think you guys will enjoy this. And let's see, give me just one moment. Let me pull it up for you guys. And, and let's Can everyone see it? Yes, yes. ma'am. Okay. So it says summer's here and it's almost senior year. To, to make next year the best ever, you decided that you want to buy a car. 
The problem is you don't have the cash yet, but you have a plan. First, you've got a full-time job. You're making $265.60 each week after taxes, working in the mall at the sporting goods store. You've also made a deal with your uncle. If you can save money by making a budget and sticking to it for the next 10 weeks, he will double your total savings at the end of summer. If you save $500, he'll give you another $500. The more you save, the more you get. Get it? So yes. does everyone understand that? Yes. Okay. So actually, what's going to happen is, is that during the next class period, when we come back um, next week, you guys are going to do this game. We're just going to go through a couple of, you know, scenarios right now as a class. But when you come back, you all are going to work in groups or pairs, and you guys are actually going to be documenting what you, what's going on within the game. Okay? Do you guys understand that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So after you, next time we come back to class, you guys work in teams. So after you finish playing Bank of the Buses, you're going to review some of the saving strategies that you use in the online activity game. Then you're going to come up to the front. Each, each group is going to come to the front, and this is worth 20 points. So everybody's going to participate. It's another participation grade. And you guys, are, we're going to uh, we're going to go through some of the scenarios that happen to you, like the emergencies that occurred. And you know some of the strategies that you use in order to save, okay? Okay. So let's see. So it says you're starting out with four hundred dollars in savings, which will be included in amount in the amount of money your uncle will match at the end of the summer, as long as you haven't lost it. So then it says you'll be touring around town in a swanky, like slightly used sports car, hanging your head in a broken down rust bucket. Will you bank it all or go bust? It's up to you. Okay, so now you got, you see it says you got to create a budget for the summer. A budget is a tool that helps you plan your spending. The first step is you have to sort your expenses into categories. You spent most of your first paycheck last week. On the next screen, you'll see the receipts for the money you spent. All of your expenses fall into one of four groups, food and drink, transportation, clothing, and entertainment. Then you're going to drag your receipts into the appropriate folders to develop your budget. So you guys see the gist of the game? You have to drag the receipts into the appropriate folder. So the first one says shuttle bus to splash land. Which one would that go with? Transportation. Good job. Let's see. Um, how about DVD run? Good. What about United Fuel gas station? Okay. Um, let's see. Flip flops. Great. Uh, roundhouse pizza party. Okay. So you guys get the gist of the game? Okay. So we're going to finish it next week. Well, next class when you guys come in for class, okay? And in a moment, the bell is going to ring for us to go to our little parent rally. And I'm going to go ahead and pass out your homework activity. That's going to be an individual assignment. Um, <clears throat> it's going to be a debt savings. It's your debt savings student organizer. And with this, what you guys are going to do is, is that you're going to, it's like three different scenarios that you have to do. Each scenario, you start out with $500 in each one. So in the first scenario, you're going to incur debt. In the second scenario, you're going to break even means that you won't be, you won't make any money. It'll just be zero. And then in the third scenario, you're going to save some money. So you start out with $500. You have to think about your monthly expenses, what you have to, you know, what you incur for that month. And then you total your expenses, you have your savings, and then you have your debt. And then you guys are going to do this for homework. It is worth what, 25 points, which is part of your assignment grade, and which is 50% of your overall grade at the end of the class. So make sure you guys bring this back so you can get your points for that, OK? Is there any questions? No, oh, man. Nobody got no questions? No, Are you sure? Can I go to the bathroom? No. <laughs> <laughs> the bell is going to ring in a few minutes.
and if you guys need any help, you all have my cell number. Give me a call. Oh, that's a And there's the bill. And go ahead and go to the camera. I'll see you guys later.